Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here and today I'm looking at a particular species but I really wanted to talk more about tree roots. So here we've got a tulip poplar or Liriodendron tulipifera and uh, we're outside our, our new office and when we moved in there was actually some construction work that was being done and one of the contractors actually cut a trench here and what happened was he cut a lot of the roots of this tree right here so you know a lot of times tree roots are forgotten uh, they really can st stretch so far underground and it's hard to notice them when you know we don't see that on a regular basis um, you know this this tulip tree is pretty big so those roots were you know they're probably all the way up to the edge of the building and even around um, they're probably going underneath that road so this is a, a really good sized tree and what can happen when you cut lots of tree roots at once is it can really stress the tree. So what happened last year when those roots were cut is the tree sort of was shocked and it dropped a lot of its leaves and then it tried to grow them back. But then winter came around and it dropped them again. So it kind of made two batches of leaves last year, which is a lot of energy. That really took up a lot of resources of the tree. And so now this year you can actually see we've got a tulip poplar over here that's about the same age, and this one is much more lush. The leaves are bigger, it's got a fuller canopy, um, it's really a lot healthier. And when we look back over here, you can see the canopy is just a lot thinner, the leaves are much smaller. It really didn't have the energy to, to bounce back after that stress. And so when we think about tree care and tree maintenance, it's not just above ground. We really have to take care of the things below ground as well and so sometimes when you cut tree roots you can do a little bit at a time you know when it comes to construction or you know any kind of maintenance around a tree um, you can do a small amount um, but this was a pretty severe cut so we're actually seeing a pretty drastic effect on this tree um, and how it was affected by those roots being cut now remember the roots are one of the most important parts they take up all the water and nutrients for the tree and provide all kinds of structural support and foundation for it. So they're really just so important. And when we think about sort of a tree's overall biomass, so all that a tree is, pretty much half of it is below ground in that root system. So it's so, so important to take care of that and it has pretty direct effects on the above ground portion of the tree as well. Um, now there are things you can do to help take care of the roots. Watering is also very important. Um, even on a mature tree like this, uh, watering is always a good thing when it's really droughty and hot. Um, you can also mulch. You know, mulch is one of those fantastic benefits we've talked about in other videos. Um, really kind of just helps buffer the soil, keep it insulated, provide sort of a little blanket for the tree. Um, so that's never a bad thing to do, as long as you do it not too thick. Uh, so if you want to learn how to mulch, go check out that video as well. well. That goes more in depth on how to mulch and why it's important for trees. But just wanted to point out today, you know, those effects of damaging the underground root system of trees can have a pretty fast effect on the tree and really sort of stunt its growth the next year or even all the way into the future. So thank you all for watching and take care.